Hi, I am Janaki. This lesson is highly designed for the anyone who is dreaming to graduate in clinical laboratory science stream. Renal function test. There are four main functions associated with kidney. Glomerular filtration, tubular reabsorption, tubular secretion and renal blood flow. This lesson is highly focused on the detection of glomerular filtration rate. The standard test used to measure the glomerular filtration rate is clearance test. What are the familiar clearance tests in clinical chemistry? Urea clearance, inulin clearance and creatinine clearance. Each clearance is named by the name of the clearance substance. Urea, inulin, creatinine. We can use even radioisotope as the clearing substance. As the name implies, the clearance test indicates in which rate the kidney filters the clearance substance in blood to the urine through glomerulus. Urea clearance Urea is a neutral end product of protein catabolism. Urea is completely filtered by kidneys but even under well hydrated condition 40% filtered urea is reabsorbed. Amount of urea reabsorption is increased with the dehydration. You can remember urea is passively reabsorbed by proximal convoluted tubule and ascending loop of Henle. Therefore, it is recommended to hydrate the patient during 24 hours collection to get 2 ml per minute urine flow rate to ensure that no more than 40% of urea was reabsorbed. Here you can see you need to hydrate the patient to get 2 ml per minute flow rate. It means a minimum total output for 24 hours is 2880 ml, nearly 3 liters of urine. To get the output as a 3 liters of urine, at least you have to hydrate the patient uh, in a double volume of liquid. Considering above facts, urea is not a good clearing substance to detect the glomerular filtration rate. Inulin clearance. Inulin is a type of naturally occurring fructose polymer. It is an exogenous substance. It has to be infused at a constant rate throughout the test. Inulin is completely filtered by kidneys. It is neither reabsorbed nor excreted by renal tubules. Inulin is an extremely stable compound. So, it is considered as original reference method for clearance test. The main problem in inulin clearance is the inulin is an exogenous substance. So, we have to monitor uh, the infusion throughout the test. Therefore, it is not widely applied in today. Creatinine clearance. Creatinine is just a waste product formed by the slow and spontaneous degradation of creatine phosphate in the process of muscle metabolism. Creatinine is an endogenous waste generated from muscle metabolism. Creatinine is produced from creatine, a molecule which is important for energy production. Approximately 2% of the creatine is converted to creatinine uh, per day in our body. It is an endogenous substance and fairly constant in blood. Creatinine has been found as a fairly reliable indicator of kidney function. When kidney become impaired due to any reason, the creatinine level in the blood will rise due to poor clearance of the kidneys. 
Therefore, the standard blood test routinely check the amount of creatinine in the blood. More precise measurement of the kidney function can be estimated by the creatinine clearance. What are the drawbacks related with creatinine clearance? The amount of creatinine produced by the body depends on the muscle mass of the each person. If the person is suffering from muscle wasting disease, measurement of creatinine clearance is not a reliable indicator for GFR. Consumption of meat and meat derivatives during the collection influence the results. Our intestine can reabsorb a minor portion of creatinine from the animal tissue because meat and meat derivatives have considerable amount of creatinine. So, it is necessary to instruct the patient not to take excess meat and meat derivatives during the collection. Excess caffeine consumption activates the muscular activity. So, we must instruct the patient to refrain from the excess coffee and tea during the collection. Some drugs inhibit the tubular secretion. Bacteria can split the creatinine molecule at room temperature. Therefore, it should be refrigerated or preserved by chemicals during collection. Refrigeration is the best preservation technique. But if you don't have enough refrigerating facilities, you have to use the chemical preservatives. Non-creatinine chromatins may affect with clinical assay. Usually, Jaffe's reaction is used to measure the creatinine in blood and urine. Usually, acetoacetate, glucose, vitamin C or ascorbic acid, uric acid, pyruvate, cephalosporin-like drugs may affect with Jaffe reaction. The severe exercises may elevate the result. Clearance is reported as ml per minute. It indicates the number of milliliters of plasma from which the clearance substance is completely removed during one minute. To calculate the clearance, we have to define V, U and P. Let's define V. V is urine volume in ml excrete per minute urine flow rate. U is urine creatinine concentration in milligram per deciliter. It should be milligram per deciliter. U is a urine creatinine. P is plasma creatinine concentration in milligram per deciliter. Plasma creatinine in milligram per deciliter. Standard formula for the milliliters of plasma cleared per minute OC or clearance. Clearance means the milliliters of plasma cleared per minute. Here you can see UV divided by P. U is a urine creatinine concentration in milligram per deciliter. P is plasma creatinine concentration in milligram per deciliter. V is a urine flow rate in ml per minute.